Hello! By now you already know that there are configuration utilities that enable you to set up the XDM server according to your needs and your environment settings. Let me show you how to define those configurations using an input XML file. An XML file is a structured text file that you can easily edit with any text editor. With the utilities, we also deliver some samples of XML files to help you create your own input XML file. Windows and Linux examples are found here. There are basic examples with minimum configuration, but also full examples with all the supported configurations. Novice users will find fully documented versions of all the examples with helpful comments on each and every configurable item. Advanced users may want to use the clean, uncommented versions of those input XML example files. Our best practice recommendation is to start with the minimum configuration as the basis of your XDM server configuration and use the full samples to copy over specific sections of the input XML files examples that are relevant for your configuration. Let's review an example of such input XML file. Let me open a full Windows sample that does not include built-in help. Under the Utilities Configuration tag, you can see the different section of the XML file. The sections are System Server, where you can define properties specific to the XDM server. The Server Load Settings, which define factors that can influence the performance of the server. Server User, which defines the user that will run the XDM server. Database, whether it is the embedded database configuration or the Oracle database configuration. Port definitions, vault settings, LDAP and mail configuration, as well as client utilities configuration. The next videos will talk about each one of these topics. Stay tuned. Let's create an example of such XML input file. This time I'm opening the min configuration sample windows XML file with my favorite XML editor. Under the system server section, I will change the data dir tag to be C colon XDM data instead of the default data dir directory. To emphasize the best practice of using the XML samples that we provide, I will copy from the full configuration sample the entire section of the server load settings into my XML. For this practice, I will also change the num of client accessing system server to 20. After the XML file is ready, simply import it using the config import utility and by providing the XML file that we just created as an argument. By using the, the config import, we are feeding the XML server with the new pending configuration. However, those will not become active until deploying the server using server deploy or running server update. Here, you can see the result of the server deploy with the customized configuration that we just provided. Let's get deeper into the details of the system server tag. The name tag is used for reference only. You will see this name while using utilities such as Diag Active Config. Clients will see this name on the XDM portal. If you want to control the XDM server logging level, you can change the value of the minimum logging level. And if you want to change the logging level of the IDM configurator, you can modify the value of the IDM log level tag. Remember that using warn or info may burden the performance of the server, so please use those with caution and only when necessary. Using the input XML file, you can control the various directory locations. The XDM server install dir is the install directory, the target directory that mentor install program used for installation. The XDM server active dir is the location where the XDM server will be deployed to. As you can see, by default it is external to the install directory so that any future install or uninstall will not impact your active XDM server. The data directory, data dir, is where your valuable data is going to be stored. This directory is also external to the install, so that it will be easier to secure it and to back it up. In a similar way, advanced users can control the log and temp locations by editing the temp dir and the log dir, and also the location of the application data, app data dir. 
If you need to change the default location of the backup files that the utilities will create, you can modify the backup base location tag. In this video, we got familiar with the input XML configuration file. We scanned through all the different sections, and in particular, the system server tag. We reviewed the different samples that are delivered with the utilities. Here you can find Linux and Windows examples, with or without comments, of both the minimum configuration as well as the full configuration which covers all the supported configuration available for the XDM server. Our recommendation is to use the minimum configuration sample as your basis and copy over sections that you need from the full configuration sample in order to set the values.